What is up guys, Austin Nurcho here and today we're unboxing the Loot Crate for this month. Now again, I have no clue what the theme is, so I have no clue what to expect out of here, but let's go ahead and open it up. Um, okay, we'll start off with the shirt, which looks really weird, but let's see what it is. Oh, so it looks like a Rick and Morty shirt, so it looks like Rick's head with part of his head missing, and you can see what's supposed to be his brain, but there's different, like, Rick and Morty characters inside, like you can see Morty in there and all the different character stuff, so that's really weird. The color, I like, the color stands out of the face, but I don't like white shirts at all, so um, this is definitely not gonna be a good shirt, but um, I like the different colors, like the blue and the pink and stuff that all stand out and everything, so that's kind of a different and interesting shirt, so that's kind of weird. Um, so next up, we have some socks, and they look like Harry Potter socks, and it is has all the different like houses so it's got the sorting hat on there and then it's got all the different characters so we have the snake from Slytherin the Gryffindor or lion from Gryffindor the eagle or whatever raven from Ravenclaw and the badger I think it is from Hufflepuff the yellow one there so we just all the different house like creatures and then the sorting hat there on the top um, from that so I assume like this stuff because the shirt says loot wear and then these are the socks so I assume these are probably things from their um, like clothing options you can buy that we don't do. Um, so I assume that's what those are. It's kind of like, you know, like an advertisement for that. I'm not exactly sure, but that just seems like what they may be. Uh, the next up we have something that says the X-Files Circle of Truth there. And so I don't know what it is. It has a lot of stuff about games on it, so I don't know. Oh, so it must be like a card game or something. So inside, so it's like a, you know, a little badge thing like people you know, officers where like flash their badge type thing. And so then there's like a stack of cards in here. So we have that on the front there with the Sully or Scully, whatever you call her name. And it's just a stack of cards with all different um, sorts of stuff on there. Um, as you can see, there's one of the cards there. If it'll, it would focus in. And so there's just that kind of stuff. So it's just some sort of game. I assume there's going to be an instruction booklet in here. So like in with this stuff maybe that explains it. But yeah, just a game called um, X-Files Circles of, or Circle of Truth. Oh, I guess this is the instructions here. So that's yeah, all sorts of a game thing that you can do, which we probably won't. But that's uh, a neat idea. I like the whole deal, like trying to make it like an actual item mixed in with a game is kind of cool. Uh, then next up, so we have another one of these figures that we had before. This is a Westworld Dolores and Arnold. So I've never seen Westworld, so I don't know anything about this. But it's one of those like uh, uh, artist series things like they did. Like we had the um, Eleven one from Stranger Things. So let's open it and see what, I assume it just looks exactly like it was down the front again. Oh, that's cool. So it has a little like Western storefront display type thing there, which is awesome. Oh, as they all fall out. And so then we have the ground here, and we'll snap it into this there. And so we have the guy, then the t leg, chair legs go into the stand like that. So he sits there, and then you just put the girl there in the background like that or whatever. And she does have a gun in her hand, so I assume she's going to like shoot him or something, but she has a gun there. I was trying to see if her arm moved, but it doesn't. But so there we have that. So that, oh, there she goes. But I think that's kind of cool. Like I said, I wish it was something I knew. Like, like I said, I've never seen Westworld or anything. So I don't know these characters or anything. But I like this whole like storefront design and stuff. I really like that with the whole railing and stuff. It just looks so cool. So it's like they take the pictures and just turn them into 3D models that look really cool. So I like that a lot. That's cool. So that's awesome. And then to go along with that, we have for our pin for the month, we have Westworld. Um, I don't know what it says, but the theme is dis Discover. I th oh no, the last one. I was like, I thought that was last month, but it was Explore. But so there's the picture there. And I have no clue what it is, if it's like a coin or something, but it looks like a maze type thing almost. But of course that will unlock something as well. And so that looks like that is going to be it for all the items. I do want to show the inside of the box because it looks cool and it doesn't look like it does anything, like folds out. So there's all sorts of cool little like designs and stuff they put in there. I like the whole blue on the black and everything. And so that is going to be it. So we have our card now. So as you can see, it's got Discover there for January 2018. And so first up, we have our exclusive Rick and Morty t-shirt. And the thing is with this, they don't give any information. So it just says by licensed by Cartoon Network and stuff. So we have the Rick and Morty shirt there. Then we have our exclusive Wonder World Super Emo Series diorama figures there. Again, I think looks super cool. 
Then we got our Harry Potter socks in there with all the houses. Our exclusive X-Files card game, so that was the X-Files Circle of Truth. And then our Westworld Maze pin, so I guess it is a maze there. And then we have additional, or go to the website to see more stuff. Um, so what was your favorite item out of this box, bro? I'm probably going to go with the Westworld 3D or yeah, 4D scene. Yeah, the diorama thing. That's definitely going to be mine. Like I said, I don't even know anything about Westworld, but I like this a lot. Um, like I said, it'd be a lot cooler if they did more, like different stuff that I actually <laughs> knew what it was. Um, but it's still really cool. I love this whole design and idea thing. That's super cool. Um, but overall, this box, I don't think, for me at least, was that good. Because I don't watch Rick and Morty. The only thing I like, the, the stuff is Harry Potter, but I don't like these socks or whatever. Um, but I like this, but I don't watch Westworld, so I don't know anything about it. Um, so it's just not that good of a box for me at least and stuff. But that's going to be it for the unboxing today. If you enjoyed, let us know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe to see more unboxings. And we'll see you next time.